Blood Diamond. It's been a long time coming, but uh, that paperwork finally came through. You're signed by the UFC. I mean, first of all, how does that feel? Oh man, um, uh, I don't know really. Uh, to be honest, it's. I guess, uh, like I said before, it was just a. Uh, I'm just at the door of everything, you know. I, um, when the cage is locked and the bell rings, that's when I will get excited. But uh, for now, it's just like, yeah, I'm signed, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When Eugene made the speech on Saturday, I'm sure everyone's seen it on Instagram yeah. and various other places online. I mean, that was pre-sparring. I know the, the camera cut to you, you know, gloves on, headgear on, ready <laughs> to go. Uh, you obviously weren't expecting that was about you? Nah, not at all. Like, because uh, uh, there were uh, two sparring sessions, uh, one for the kickboxing crew and uh, one for the MMA crew. And um, I had already done the kickboxing one first, so I was pretty tired, you know. And then I was just getting on my, my second wind and I was just like, okay, ah, let's, let's get ready for the MMA. And uh, as that was happening, you just talking and standing right next to Israel. And then I'm just listening to this. And everything he was saying, I'm like, oh, nah, that's Israel. I've lived with this guy. I already know this. He cannot tell me anything new, you know, unless he's going to say Israel's got a baby or something. But I doubt it. I was just like, yeah, okay, continue and get focused on the next sparring session. But all of a sudden, I hear my name being called, and I'm just like, what? What's going on, you know? And then, yeah. It was a shock, but at the same time, I was still like, Man, I got sparring to do, you know. My mind was already focused on the next sparring session, so yeah, I was yeah, yeah, I was in the middle of like should I be excited? I need to spar, I need to be focused. I had already a game plan in my head. Um I mean ever since my last kickboxing fight I've been really focusing on uh, my MMA skills and uh, yeah, just uh just, you know, yeah, that was what was on my head. Just what can I do different from kickboxing? What I what can I get away with and what I cannot get away with kind of thing, you know? So, yeah. How'd the sparring session go? I was really tired. I was really tired. But um, it, it was good. It was good. You know, um, we, I stuck to my game plan. Uh, <laughs> did a few awkward moves. Even Brad was like, what did what just happened i tried to take him down and he just walked away like um, and i was just doing my i don't know man <laughs> hey, hey it just happened that's why we're in the ufc so they can tell me what i do you know the fight analyst yeah, so yeah i guess that's the exciting thing about being in the ufc yeah <laughs> when the news came out over the weekend um a lot of people online including myself posted it um turns out a lot of people are very interested in your name and what your name actually is and where it's come from I mean we all call you blood diamond just because that's what we're yeah. used to now like, can you tell us a little bit about uh, just where that name came from and what you're gonna be called when you make the walk to the octagon <laughs> that that name just started at the gym you know um, its origins are known, but uh, I'm assuming it was uh, someone had just watched that movie and for some reason it just made sense. They were like, oh yeah, the next black guy, we're going to call him Blood Diamond. Because it, it was a good movie. So, yeah. Um, so I would say, yeah, it was just, it just happened and then it, it just stuck. And um, when I, I'm going to keep it that way. Um, my goal is, yeah, because Blood Diamond, yeah, that is that, that is that brand, you know, and that's what I want to carry on. If they, if, oh, I think last time I was, I was in Abu Dhabi, I saw Bruce Buffer, and then I was just like, I can't wait for you to be calling out my name, Blood Diamond, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. So I hope he remembers that. Yeah, so it's gonna stay, stay that, stay, stay to Blood Diamond. So, I'm not gonna change it. So it's just gonna be bl first name Blood, last name Diamond. That's it. Love it. That's it. I think uh, you're gonna win over a lot of fans just from your name. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as they know it's not 
gang affiliated, but yeah. yeah. And Zimbabwean born, I believe, I haven't done my research too deeply on this, but I believe you're going to be the uh, first Zimbabwean born UFC fighter. Yes. What uh, does that mean to you? I think now that that is something cool, you know. Um, like to be honest, being first in something is just wow. Like for me, it's going to be like I've accomplished something other people have not managed to do. I mean, like there, I look quite a few Africans in the UFC and all, but just being the first Zimbabwean, uh, I'm sure I am very sure I am the first Zimbabwean. But uh, yeah, being the first Zimbabwean signed, it, it is such a cool thing you know um uh like now like the zimbabwean fans will have someone to support you know and uh yeah i, I hope i can inspire someone you know um yeah just at least if i can inspire one person they hear my story and yeah they decide to chase their dream i'm happy with that all I need is just one person. Yeah. How long has this been a dream of yours? We know that you've been in the game a long time. Eugene said uh, in an interview with, I think it was One News, that you know, you've had more combat sports fights than Israel Adesanya, who's had over 100. I mean, just tell yeah. us a little bit about your journey. Um, to be honest, like every step I've taken, it was, it was not very, it wasn't really planned. Okay, um, it, it, it comes back to my past, like I've been one of those uh, like guys who start something and quickly stop, like I lose interest. And then uh, finally I came, it came something I actually enjoyed. So when I started, it was more, I started off as just, just as a fitness thing, you know. And then I um, watched other people sparring and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, let me, let me try that. Gave that a go. And you know, I just, I guess, just that hunger for wanting more. You know, I fight, I want more. I win, I want, I want more, and I win better than I did last time. So it's always a thing of always like, like growing, just growing in something. You know, just evolving, and just yeah, it's quite exciting, just seeing where I'm coming from and to now. You know, um, I mean, I, I've also I've, I've fought on a big uh, kickboxing uh, promotion, uh, Glory, and of course, uh, new, our own uh, New Zealand top uh, kickboxing promotion, King in the Ring, and yeah, just that hunger of wanting more, more, more. Uh, that's what got me to where I am, and i still have the, the same hunger you know i'm like okay now now, now i'm fighting on ufc i'll be fighting on ufc Let, let's go okay first of all i need to get into that cage and then after that you have a few fights and then yeah just you know like the saying goes to be the best you gotta beat the best so yeah just trying to get to the top yeah when the boys were over in Abu Dhabi last September, you flew over with them. Yep. Carlos Alberg was with you. Yep. Obviously, he got in through Dana White's Contender Series. Were yep. you a bit surprised that you got straight in and didn't have to go through the Contender Series pathway? Uh, or is that a question for Eugene? Yeah, that's probably a question for him because, to be honest, I got. Uh, I think after uh, one of the fights. Um, I think uh, yeah, I was yeah when we went to the uh, we went to Abu Dhabi, um, just having those close calls like uh, being almost getting having a fight and all. I just knew okay, all I gotta do from now onwards is just keep grinding, working hard, and just be ready, fight ready, cause you never know at any point. Like ask a lot of people in the gym, they'll be like, oh, when are you gonna be in the UFC? Like, I don't know, but. I gotta be fight ready. You never know when that short notice fight comes in or contenders. Anything at any time could happen, and I wanna be ready. That was that was my mindset. So like how I got in, it didn't bother me. It was just be ready when the time comes. Be ready. Have you had an indication of when you might get to make your debut? Uh, 
well, um, hopefully when the, some of the boys are fighting like uh, or Iz or Brad or Kai, or I think Dan's fighting soon. But in like anytime when the boys are fighting, hopefully, because that's one of the best feelings when you all train together and then you're all on the same show. That yeah, that hypes me up myself, you know. So hopefully it's one of those shows. So hopefully sometime this year. Yeah. When you came back from Abu Dhabi and obviously didn't get that short notice fight and Carlos got in before you, did you sort of start doubting whether that opportunity was going to nah, come? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, for the, just the fact that I was there for just in case something could happen, I knew from there onwards, I'm like, yep, I'll, I'll be in the UFC. I fully believed it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make it. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, yeah, it's a matter of time. And I'm just, that's when I really kind of was looking like Zimbabwean UFC uh, fighters on the card and all. And nothing yet. So I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, now, now I'm in. I'm like, yeah, I'll be the first Zimbabwean. Can't wait to play myself on uh, uh, what is good, the UFC game. Yeah, that would be awesome. Do you think they're going to be able to uh, capture all your... <laughs> Let, let's say unique style uh, on the video game once they eventually get around to putting you on it? Honestly, the best way they can capture my unique style is just push random. You know, whatever, just whatever moves, just mash it up and yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just the, combine a few Tekken characters. Like, that's sure it. you got Eddie in there and <laughs> King. Yeah, whatever works. Because, yeah, I, I never know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, should be good. Were there any sort of welterweights that you were sizing up on Fight Island? I know there were a few, obviously, fighting over there. Um, I think uh, initially I was uh, looking at if anything was going to happen. Like that, Die uh, was it? No, Diego Sanchez's fight. I'm like, oh, oh, that fight, if anything was to go down between those two, like... If I was an in, whether it was an injury or and like I wasn't hoping for anything bad like COVID, but at that time COVID was just happening, and so I was like, I gotta be ready. And then at two fights, uh, like at two weeks after that, I was just ready for all those world weights if anything was to happen. And yeah, so that's what I was like. I was on weight. I was really on weight, training and all. Uh, just waiting. If they needed me, I was ready to go. Did you get to an opportunity to spar with any of the sort of UFC welterweights and get a feel for the power and, and what they do? Uh, not when we went to Abu Dhabi, but uh, there was a time. Um, I mean, it, it was just a, a friendly sparring session. Uh, Phil, 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 what's his last Phil name? Phil Rowe? Yes, yes. Uh, he, he saw me kicking the bag and then he was just like, man, man. And they started asking me how I was uh, doing some of the moves I was doing. And then he yeah, had a chat and then he was just quite interested. He's like, okay, uh, do you mind if we just have a spot, just, you know, just playing around. I'm like, yo, I'm keen, you know, why not? Have fun, you know. And in my head, I'm just, wow, I'm going to spot a UFC fighter, you know. And... Yeah, we had some moves, and then it was him who, like, after he said it, I think my belief in making it the UFC just became solid, solidified. Uh, he was just like, you know what, you've got moves, man, and you got a few things. You, you, you got, you, you've got such good skills, you can easily make it in the UFC right now. I'm just like, oh, for real? It's just like, yo, man. In God's time, you'll make it. And ever since then, I'm just like, in God's time, in God's time. And this time, the, that time is now. So, yeah. Thanks to Phil. Shot Phil. Uh, yeah. That was cool. Sweet, man. And just before I let you go, we've obviously got some fans uh, who sent in some, some questions on the Twitter. Yeah. Um, if you just want to read those out and and answer them, provided you can decipher my handwriting. Okay. We've got... AKD underscore 131 said, who is the one UFC welterweight you would love to fight the most? Ah, I am not going to lie. I I cannot really pick uh, welterweight. I mean, 
most of the times when I watch the UFC, I'm uh, watching like uh, a friend or someone I know fighting, and uh, a lot of them have like uh, yeah, my friends uh, who don't have welterweights yet. So, um, I'm, I mean, I would like to fight the most. Whoever's going to be champion when when I'm there, like when I'm at that point, when I'm close to that point, that's the one I would like. Because of course, we all want to aim for the top, you know. So I would say whoever's going to be the champ when I'm around that, around that, you know, ranking. I mean, Blood Diamond yeah. versus Kamaru Usman, UFC Africa could be fun. That could be, that could be. Respect to the man, uh, but yeah. I think, I, I think, yeah, it will, it will be good. Yeah. But you can't count out the many people with m mad talent. Even Wonderboy, that would be uh, interesting because I know we're both stand up fighters. He's got his style, I've got mine. That would be interesting. That would be a lot of fun. It, it would be. be. I, I think that, I feel like it could be fight of the night, like the entertainment, entertainment wise. Yeah. Um, Nate, Nate Diaz, oh man, Nate never loses, man. He, he never loses, so, but it'll be something interesting, you know. He, uh, yeah, I think he pushes people, like, really pushes them. So, I, yeah, I, I can't really choose on that one. I'm, that's my problem. Not, I'm so indecisive. I cannot pick one person, yeah. And we've got, uh, is it Milner Brad? Um, how has the uh, transition uh, to MMA been going? Well, uh, it, it's it's been good, you know. Um, just uh, mixing up the stand up and the grappling and the wrestling. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my same style and just, I guess, be extra sharp. Yeah, compared to how I usually fight. Just gotta be a bit more tidy. And Isaac374498 What is one fight of yours new fans should watch? Mm. If mm. Oh, I don't know now. That's a good one. I know people would love to watch uh, uh, Holly Love, the one of uh, my fight with Holly Love. Yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah past the snooker I've done. Oh, proud of it. But yeah, maybe that. I don't know if he's. He might still be holding a grudge about that. But oh. Okay. Grant McKenzie. Ask him about his chocolate addiction. You know what? I have been controlling myself. I really have been. Yeah, uh, ever since, uh, like, wanting this journey to be in the UFC, uh, you have to choose, um, you have to prioritize what's important. So I'm like, I could be indulging in so much chocolate and be my weight stay high or I could, you know, be sensible about it. I mean, I do eat chocolate every now and then, but not as much as I used to. But yeah, if Gwishinka still wants to sponsor me, I, I don't know, you know, hook me up some chocolate, I'm not gonna say no. You know, I always have a block a day. No, maybe not a block, but a little, what is it, a slab a day, yeah. Okay, biggest food craving you aren't allowed in camp. Ever since I've started my, oh, who's this brother on? Danny Nian. Yeah, Nians. Like, ever since I've started uh, the, um, our meal prep company, Rush Shower Bites, check it out. Um, I never had, really had that f food craving, you know? Um, so, uh, we cook pretty good food and it's nice and clean, so, yeah. I don't, ooh, ooh, maybe pizza. Mm -hmm. But still, I've, I've found alternative, uh, an alternate way to make a good pizza. Yeah, so, 
Yeah, no, nah, I don't have anything I would crave. Okay, Jack O'Neill, 31. What does it mean to you to make it to the pinnacle after such a long career already? Um, well, what does it mean to me? It means uh, I, can feed my, I can feed my family now. Uh, I can look after my loved ones. I think that's the biggest thing, you know. Uh, yeah, look after my loved ones and uh, um, now I guess I've, I've got a voice for for things I couldn't like I'm on the big stage so I can now you know be a voice for someone who doesn't have a voice yeah yeah but I'm glad I can look after my family now so yeah that, 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 that's, that's something that's cool and I can buy myself a house and yeah I think that's it. Sweet. Sweet. All good. Well, uh, Flood Diamond, welcome to the UFC. Thank you very much.